young people laying a foundation to land on after school even when the jobs will not come swiftly. Today we have Abdallah Ali who is into fashion and design and guess what he is doing? He is a student of accounting and finance. Abdallah, una come to much a child. Tell, tell me a little bit about your childhood. Okay, a little bit about my childhood. Kwanza mimi hata si vile nilipata jina Abdul <laughs> okay, yeah. so Abu is a short <laughs> Okay, call. I'm Abdallah Ali. Uh -huh. Yeah, back at home, Jina Abdallah, Fuatanishwa, na Jina Dula. Oh, yeah. As in, kama ni nickname, it appear Jina Dula. But it, it is how I used to present myself to people. Elikuwa na vaka anzu, koti ju, kuna ju wa kumbuka, koti ju, na arafat. Sa kila mtu kwanjia, anasema, ah, Sultan Abu, Sultan Abu. Eh, yeah, from a mood, from a mood, Sultan Abu. Okay. Ilianzia tu hapo. Kama mchezo tu, pande zile za Mombasa. Mi naishi Mombasa. Mm. Na pia vile vile, na kama chachari, appearance. It is who I am, maybe, or maybe not. <laughs> I believe the dressing also gives a part of our personality. Our personality, yes. But mimi kusema about my childhood. It has given me like a personality to fit in because it has not been easy to put on any to fit in for society. Kenya society. Me being class size, me kona muli kubwa si kanti. Majoring in modeling, growing up with people who are financially well off. Si rahisi to survive Kenya. Si rahisi kwa kweli. How did you get into fashion styling and commercial modeling? Give us the backstory. There are two different stories. Okay. Styling and commercial modeling. Actually, commercial modeling in a trace is way back. Mali ni metoka, ile ni metro up. Mimi modeling na fanya kama away. Ya ku easen up my pain like kui. We talk out to the society instead of diverting into drugs or other things that Kenyan Kenyan youths are doing so easy. I chose to like nienda to the fashion industry with my body, no matter mtu atasema nini nini sijali nini my pain ni meamua na ipeana tu through art and styling. Actually about styling you know a very interesting topic because nikikuwa first year I used to have a friend this friend ni a homie anaitwa Ismail mm yeye alikuwa na interest in modeling pia sasa kulikuwa na Mr and Miss Freshman okay. and he was there ako confused ai tuko maseno bro Santa designiwa na nani Miss Dream Miss Dream tutafanya Na nishanza kuenda training. As you can see, minu mwambia, ya alini approach, yunlikuwa na hiyo interest. That ya likuwa na ilewa. Vitu likuwa na fanya, siko in line. Na passion yake pia. Yeah, so, aki interact na watu wengine, ali meet a stylist. So unfortunate, the stylist ya tuko na ye. Tulim lose. Hmm. Ye ni stylist amekuwa kwa industry maseno kwa mpia kitambo. Sa ye ye ndo alini hook up na ye. Haka nambia bro, we what you are doing can be good. But fanya hivi, ebu wangalia mtu wako kwa industry ya nafanya ni. Tuka hook up pa moja, tuka hunda sort of a team ya watu watatu. And fortunately, kwa hiyo Mr. and Ms. Freshman Masena University 2019 if I remember. That man is my, I'll call Mr. Freshman. Wow. <laughs> he became Mr. Freshman. Wow, that's so exciting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What I used to do during that time, the name of my late friend, 
I'd say my teacher he used to inspire me alikuwa ananiambia abu hata yeye alikuwa ananiita abu abu kuja tufanye abu kuja tufanye actually what we did what I was doing the most alikuwa ananiambia abu watch nimemvalisha we blazer wewe unaona tuongeze nini kumbuka hiyo time mtu anafaa kuingia stage ndio ile ameitwa tag number yake imeitwa lakini kitu ananiambia tuongeze nini alafu anaficha vitu zake wewe umeenda hapo freshman una uko inspired kukuwa stylist anakupa hiyo challenge, challenge. Uh-huh. valisha huyu mtu anaitwa stage uko hapo uko ore sasa hiyo uzuri alikuwa ameitwa na traditional attire mimi kitu nilifanya niliuliza hiyo shuka iko tuka chok nikaponda nikaponda ikakuwa powder maji kidogo i did my art also yake hiyo mbio tu kwa kifua and i told him walk feel confident just walk kitu mimi ni inspire nikamwambia walk it is the art yenye nilifanya kwa mwili yake hata essence ikuwa the clothes ama the art yale kifunga what you know you know traditional we are kenya so the tradition i put i portray dapo as in ilempe ile moti na courage ya kufeel confident ya kutembea hapo mbele so styling ilianzia tu hivyo kama mchezo tu story yake ni interesting sababu ni challenges tu nikitaka kwenda shoot stylist ananiambia eh wewe unakaje leo hebu kuja twende shoot wewe ni stylist kuja twende on a monday morning ndio umeamka kwa kitanda wewe ni stylist toka twende shoot sai unafikiria nini asubuhi ona monday morning uko na class saa moja toka twende shoot you see those are the things in zilinifanya as in me grow kwa hiyo stylist on the stylist part that is yeah sasa so, let's talk about modeling male modeling mm. umesema wewe ni model mm. but on a plus size mm. so Uh, male modeling has been there since the 20th century in Kenya mm. but it's still a challenge mm. what can you say about that kwa kweli mi naweza sema watu wametupa sana kwanza wa Kenya wanaume the word modeling hata the way we are brought up ukiambia mtu mimi ni model utasikia tu ah kwa nini ni mwanamke you see like society yenyewe ilishaeka ile mentality kwa kichwa kwa modeling wenye na participate mo ni wasichana unaweza vaa kitu nipige picha my dad used to tell me what are you doing naweza ka picha kwa DP WhatsApp right naeka hapo picha anaona nimeeka kaka anaona nimevaa suti suti yeye mwenye hajawaiva ananiambia wewe yani mimi nakutumia pesa ununue hizi vitu nimekutuma university ungalia wasichana You see? <laughs> lakini sasa mimi me me was like whenever i do a thing ni muone amekuja juu na mwambie tu eh daddy huwezi elewa lakini mimi i'm trying to build something and ni passion yangu tu yeah so that i can say wa well, it hasn't been easy yeah so there are different types of models some models model to endorse a product wengine ni kwa advertise nguo maybe hata perfume so what type of modeling do you do when it comes to that question i believe um i am art you look at me i'm art i think art i do commercial modeling posters i appear in posters i appear in advert what i'm yet to do is the endorsing part that is my next project i'm endorsing for my own company as earlier you said i'm a accounting student so i have i have other plans too okay you can I'm tell us planning. about your plans we are here for, about for, you eh? for now for now that is a little bit confidential <laughs> okay, okay yeah it's a little bit confidential but mm. i have a plan i have a company coming up and i'm planning to be my own endorsement model alongside my allies that maybe later you 
can reach out to them or maybe you can see them or maybe show the people who they are. They are very amazing people, by the way. Uh, you talked about plus size modeling. Yeah. What is that? How did you? How did it come about? Nikisema plus size, ona fikiria ni nito kuchoka. Additional. Additional. Yani, nyama ni extra. Ule mtu, yani ule mtu ni mkubwa, ni plus size. But actually, me, I might not be the biggest person. I don't know. I don't know. I represent the plus size. I talked of the plus size. Kwa sababu, au ni watu, when you have feel confident vile wanakaa muonekano wao mwanaume akioa after a while unaona ndio huyu asha lose share mwanamke aki get too comfortable ndio unaona asha lose share alafu anaanza ku feel insecurities so like i represent i stand out for the plus size and that is actually a good thing because in the industry I've seen, come on, you model, you have to be a specific eh, u, lazima, size. Lazima ukwe, ume, when you dog, when you <laughs> mekonda. Ama, come like, on, you eh, mwana ume, lazima ukwe na kakitu, yani eh, muscle or something. Eh, si nyama. Mm, si nyama. Actually, bado naenda gym ni ki workout. Okay. So ni challenging. A plus size model ni challenging kutoka from that shape to this shape. Mm. So, someone like Francis Lee Baker on Instagram, a plus size one. As in new one galia uyo. He's a plus size. What does he do? Anajiona adi. Anajieka adi. Na iyo ku dialogue yenye mini konayo na yenye kwa sasa si uongea kime ni kiyozi kia. Haya, sasa hebu ni mbio. In this industry, you've been in the industry where sema you've been like to posters and stuff like that. So what does it take for one to succeed in such an industry? Patience. Mwona ni mesema? Patience. Siku raisi? Siku raisi. Okay. Sikuzi kila mtu ni judge. Na kila mtu wataki kuambio. Na kila mtu wanajio na yendi opeta. Na kuna ile alpha mentality. You are plus size. You are small. Kisa wewe ni hafi. Kila mtu. Sasa lai. <laughs> Apart from patience, sebo to be na itaji pesa na itaji nini? Niambi e kama mimi I want to be I I assume mm. I want to be a model. Mm. So what do I need? Do I need people? Do I need advertisers? Do I need a manager? What do I need? The work ethic. You need self interest first. Self interest. Eh, we mo ni ukwe na ile self interest ya ko like I want to do this. Ita ni fikisha mahali. Ama I want to do this to restrain from myself from being somewhere else mali pengine si kuzuri so actually at a pesa an artist si lazima kuwe na pesa nyingi you know art you can collect anything mimi naweza kukota nyasi ya make an art out of it na nikuvalisha ni look pretty yeah so like if you want to do something in art you don't have to picture yourself like lazima uko mo mwaka uko na pesa the little you have, whatever resources, ziko karibu na wewe, you can start with them. So, to me, I'd say, financial, hiyo kukua na hiyo shida ya finances, si changamoto, to an extent, inyeneza kuambia usianze kufanya. Kuna ile kuanza na kuna ile kutaka, uenda fa. Sa hiyo kuanza, uneza anza na kitu chochote. Lakini, of course, finances, Zinaitaji kwa hii industry. You wanna look good. Leza moja utasikia for 4,500. Ile kiatu ni 7,000. So for me as an artist. She. Kuse mingi mkua nafanya. I just put out pieces. Nachukua blazer pale. Nachukua socks pale. Nachukua trouser pale. I mix the pieces. Inakua something new. Something fresh. Something mtu hivi ya mini ni yo na kiyeti something fabulous, something foggish, something stylish, as in ikona style, stylish, very stylish. That's all I can say. And what about the support? Unapata usaidizi kutoka kwa marafiki, wasema familia, baba, nadeta changa hoja. What about your friends? My father is a supportive dad by the way. 
shida ni mpe fact okay huyo lazima mpe fact wewe unapiga picha hiyo nani ana plus sisi ni watu wenye i won't say come from a very poor family or a rich family i'm just speaking out for the average family we know majority people wako average family huyu ni mwalimu baba ni mwalimu ni mother anafanya a lot of business ama business to you as in wanna just sustain wanna survive wanna survive so i come from that type of a family so you know like your type of a family and you share test education nataka the better for you wanataka wewe ufike far ukue either president ukue bank manager ukue hizo vitu kubwa kubwa mention them ni mingi sana mm. sa my support most of my support comes from my closest ally mwenye kwa hapa na sisi leo anaitwa Brandon Lee is a guy i strangely met as at a story yet ni very funny yeye mwenye hata ukimwambia dieleze tulipatana hapo sijota kwa explain this me being with him in any sense of it more i mean encourage more amenionesha mengi pia plus mimi nakuambia mimi am from a family kwa hapo average sasa pia mode of communication yangu iko na shida kidogo sababu ya my past pain i lost my mother in 20 well, 20 kwa class sasa so me ni introvert at the same time i'm that silent guy kwa kuona I you don't look. We, I don't look. Yeah, <laughs> don't no, look I know I don't look. I don't look like that cuz <laughs> imekuwa a journey, ni safari. Na haikuwa rahisi. I was that silent guy yenye mtu anakuuliza uko sawa I'm like uko sawa. You walk around cuz kila mtu anakubodishem. Ume lose mtu kwa familia yako. Kwenu hamka hamna hamna do vile plus pia family pressure inataka ukue something you are not something calling yako haiko uko you don't feel yeah so si actually tumekuja kupata nzuri sana ambapo umesema you're an intro mm. but modeling is something that puts you on the spotlight so how do you handle that that's very challenging mm-hmm. and how does it affect you it affects my life cause niko na ideas nyingi sana za kupeana huko nje but how i might express myself verbally civil energy express when doing the art i speak through the art not the words cuz nilikuwa kwa cage for like 7 to 10 years if i remember 7 to 10 years on a silent corner si rahisi hata uji confident mimi nimechukua kukuongelesha nimejigaza nikajigada nikasema mimi leo naongea na Nyangweso leo lazima niongee na Nyangweso anisikilize i believe my mind the functions more than what i can speak i believe my mind can work way better way better nikipata to the right audience i believe you are the right audience you believe i am the right yes. audience. so it all begins it all with me. begins with yeah, you. true true very true okay. very true ndio maana hata umesema sikai mtu mwenye ako ni introvert yeah, you know. cuz ni jani na, napanda pole pole ni pole pole ni jani tu pole pole huwezi lala wa mke uko na ndevu huwezi <laughs> <laughs> lala wa mke expect uko na masharubu kila mahali you cannot mm. it takes time the correct arrangement So what can you tell a young person who is out there striving to do what you're doing ama ana feel like kwa cage when you listen In all cases umeingia je kwa hiyo cage Si kuna away umeingia hapo the same way kuna away umeingia hapo it is the same that kuna away ya wewe kutoka hapo but inachukua a lot of courage sacrifice time self kama self building building yourself over time ndio umanage kutoka kwa kitu kama hicho unaweza pata mwanya kidogo na huo mwanya utakao pata ufai kulala well to the youngins the old ones because 
I believe we get simple mdogo peke yake. Kuna mtu ameishi ndani hiyo cage for 40 years. Ni mzee, ni mkubwa, mbegu zake ni nyeupe. Confidence in God. Fair kabisa. Unaona tu mtu yuko yuko tu ana survive through unako kwa among the last days vile wa Kenya usema mtu akizeeka siku zake zina zinaenda siku zake zinaenda So don't don't listen to what people say your body is art you live in yourself you are more than what you think whatever challenge you have ka chini si mara moja si mara mbili whenever you fail dust yourself amka on a fresh day tafuta hata kani ki ki line kimoja kina ku push through through your day Mm, like for me personally, nikiamka asubuhi tunaangalia kwa simu yangu ni status ya my closest friend, my ally. Mwenye ali nilimension. Naangalia leo amejimotoka. Hebu niangalie kidogo. Naangalia naona siku eh out and about. Ama nione looking good, looking fresh. Tunaona vitu kama hivyo like kama your friend ujui anapitia nini lakini ameamka amejipea hiyo motisha looking good looking fresh eh the name tuesday eh yeah, by the way my friend is a model nice and a trainer as i've said do you dress him too ama anakwambia wewe it is kauko nyuma it is unajua alio alio niuliza kama naifanya peke yangu ama with a team yeah yeah so i for 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 me it is the personal drive yenye ilinipeleka towards the team we have a very big team. We have an agency, the Mustard Seed Agency. It is a modeling agency. Yes, I see majority of them, maybe a three quarter of the number of the models on a participate for Mr. and Ms. Maseno. Yes, in a premier here we can. Uliona posta. So like, hey, my team. <laughs> I just love my team. So it's about Kushiki kushikana huyu mm-hmm. ako na shida ya nini sawa basi mimi hapo niko vizuri na kuja hapo wewe uko poa ku dress sawa ni dress my friend akiamka kiona yeye akai vizuri ananiambia eh hey, bro wewe bana mimi mimi nimekuti hii blazer unaona aje ni vile na nini actually today mimi ndo nimeme style mm. and i believe is looking fresh. We will see him. Villana Bona. Eh, looking good, looking <laughs> fresh, eh? the vibe. Uh-huh. Mm. Okay. Mm. He's very talkative, mm. you know. Like he's my voice and I'm the hero. <laughs> you see, I'm in front of him. I mean, I appreciate it. So to the young people, they should also look for someone like that. You can look for someone like that, ama wewe mwenyewe tu. Unaona energy yako iko safe one wapi unaona unaweza ampia wapi unaona mtu anaweza kujenga hmm? wala kuna 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 ngoma fulani mayuko penda kusema um wase sio wase jengi ya sana kuna i don't listen to those ah wait exactly me don't listen to those i don't listen to yeah yeah i don't listen to those songs but but that that beat ili ni capture okay, eh uh-huh. eh mm, ndio avoid the people avoid hawa kujengi mwenye hawa kujengi <laughs> haya ah, hawezi kufikisha mahali <laughs> ili kuwa na circle linyi kuna watu wawili <laughs> lakini huyu akikuwa na umeenda kando anakwambia eh hey, mami nalanisha unajiangusha fanya hivi na hivi na hivi so those are the people you should have plus hakuna anga formula kuna mtu yeye peke yake eh hey, a great person i believe mtu kama the creator of your god brand that kauna jua the your god brand it is a very big brand i believe for the classy people and the chill people watu wanapenda kwenda library watu as in kuna kila aina ya watu mm, and it does not speak much i'd say that but content takonawe yanafear the world cause yani a world designer 
as in amefika hiyo international level so you've talked about masters masters right yeah. is it on the accounting side or the fashion side and what are your plans 5 10 years to come when we see about the mustard seed now i say it, that is an agency right so the end the agency is a team my team and friendly to everyone whoever wants to join whoever na feel lesser in the street to teach anyone that is a team but now when it comes to the project that is something else aside from the agency you see mustard seed is something that is growing haina msimamo sasa hizi sema hii hii ndo project yangu kwa sababu hata si mimi nilianzisha niliona hapo nika join na fortunately niko mahali pazuri kwa hiyo agency mali nikiweza simama kuongea kuna mtu mali ananisikiliza na kuna mtu mali ana buy in ideas yeah so the project actually i'm creating an car dealership company mm-hmm. on the finance side every time see babangu ni simba daddy kuku kukua broker mtu uanza aje daddy nikitaka kukua deal anafanya aje sasa he is a literate person amenda kampala university sa like anaweza ni pay ideas na vitu amekuwa kifanya nyuma pia zimeza nisaidia sasa he is like kukua broker broker wa nini oh so hivyo nikim challenge hivyo yake ni pair answers nilikuwa nachukua hizo to, to my ideas za ku create your company jina sita disclose cause it's something to the release but it is a project and uh, i believe nime mix finance na fashion kwa sababu vile nita display your company it is a way different than ile wa Kenya wamekuwa wakifanya waki to present the audience so i just use my team the rest I will not say I will not be disclose because it's something new something fresh something eh hey, i don't know if you know it really. ah. i really don't know i really don't know yeah okay. it's something amazing yenye mimi says is isema kwa mdomo kwa maneno cause niko poor ku express but my brain how it functions you will see you will see oh the hey nimeatia to know the excitement to be seeing the excitement oh mimi nimeatia hapo and we are also excited for you actually i am very excited to see what you are up to asante sana i'm i'm, I'm actually very very interested to know more about what you do because you've talked and then you are here telling me you're an introvert yeah. and you're like no No this way, is no a lie. Way. <laughs> this is a big lie. But I am so appreciative of what you have told us. Your story, your back story of how you had to actually bring yourself out to the world in confidence despite everything you felt from behind. Yeah. You know. Thank you so much. I appreciate you coming here telling your story of how you came from down there feeling unwanted, feeling lonely of yourself and now you're actually dressing other people to yeah. for them to feel confident about yeah. themselves. Nashukuru sana for coming to the show. And uh, to my viewer out there, it's not about your strength. It's not about you winning immediately. You can be at the lowest point of your life, but unajiamsha, unajiambia I can do this. As he said, do not be in that cage for long. The way you entered into that cage is the same way you can get out and you can fly even further. Thank you so much. This has been Youth in Action. I am Nyangweso Krenis. This is the way to do it. This is the way to do it. This is the way